live in the dungeon. This is the Dream Warrior Review. I'm Kurt Thomas. I'm Nick Strawn. This is going to be a fun one because we're doing two. We're going to talk about two movies yeah, at once. we are. <laughs> and actually, conveniently, they're the same name. Yeah, the same name and, and everything. Yeah. 30 years apart. So, uh... Child's Play 2019 and, and Child's, Child's Play, Play 1988. Yep. Yep. Uh, basically, a mother... Okay, well, I'll read... Okay, 1988's description is... A single mother gives her son much sought after doll for his birthday only to discover that it's possessed by the soul of a serial killer. <laughs> and the new one is... A mother gives a son a toy for his birthday unaware of its more sinister nature. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So I already... I'm going to say just right now, mm -hmm. I've been wanting to do Child's Play ever since we started doing this. Right. Because you know I what? like Child's Play. I, and I've always liked it. I, I really... I really had never seen it. And had never given it any uh credence uh you know it being is is kind of a secondary horror film to like the the ones that were the big ones right yeah um yeah. but i have to say i was surprised by how good it was and i was surprised by how well the effects were done it's kind of a well actually what i like about the original child's play is that yeah the effects are great the doll was real, yeah, yeah. The it whole had a time, real, and it, <laughs> and it had a real feeling to it. Yes, you, yeah. you know, I mean, even and they used a kid a couple times to make it, you know, when right, it was right, to make it or when you're a long ways away or when it was running around yeah. in the house. But uh, the the look of the doll itself, the original yeah. design of the caricature was excellent, and if if I can say. The, the first thing that really bothered me about the new one was that I didn't believe the doll. Right. I, I as mean, a doll. As a doll. Yeah, I, I mean, had the same I, thought. I, I thought to myself that, uh, I mean, you could tell that it was real, that they had actually built it, but it didn't look like anything that you would build and sell as a toy. <laughs> you, you, you know what I mean? I mean? Yeah, yeah. Well, the original one was pretty rough. I mean... Well, yeah, but no, it was rough, but this wasn't rough. This but the was, weird thing about the original, being a child of the 80s, you know, I was watching cartoons in the 80s, mid-80s, right. 85-ish. Yeah, right. When that doll came out for, that, by Hasbro, and I used to watch the cartoons. <laughs> right, exactly. And they'd have an advertisement for, my buddy, my buddy, my buddy. My buddy. <laughs> My buddy and me. And it was like this <laughs> chucky looking doll. And I'm surprised Hasbro didn't sue them. Yeah, well. Because this is shortly after that. Yeah, it's probably because they, I, I mean, it's all the those toy concept. makers were all, they were always uh, stealing off of each other, so. Did you know that the working that, title for the original Child's Play was Bl Bloody Buddy? Bloody Buddy. Wow. Yeah. And they're, I think they were actually doing a takeoff on Hasbro's My Buddy doll. Yeah. Which is weird that the new Child's Play has Buddy. Yeah. The Buddy doll. <laughs> so they went right for it, I guess. Yeah. Just, uh, it, it uh, you, you know, it's like, uh, Buddy, though, the, the, the actual Buddy. I miss Saturday cartoons. Yeah. I'm okay. Yes, I'm, that's I'm, true. No, I really do miss them. Well, my yeah, daughter so do doesn't I. have those. Like, right. I used to, like. They, but, but here's, here's the difference, though. You're right. But, you know, when I was a kid, it was a little bit before the Saturday cartoons started. And then as I got a little bit older, then they started to come in and stuff. And all those cartoons in the morning were reruns of the the early Warner Brothers stuff. Oh, yeah. And the... Uh, Did you ever get the uh, Barbera? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. that was... that. It started 70s, into probably. the yeah that was more seventies stuff. Those are the stuff I remember being reruns. <laughs> right, that's right. Hanna Barbera. The, my stuff was yeah, was mostly, Warner Brothers, Bugs uh, Bunny. Well, the thing is, is in the mornings you had the Bugs Bunny stuff, and uh, and you had some of the early Hanna Barbera or or you know like. Uh, Laugh Olympics or something like. That. Well, Yogi Bear. 
Yeah, Yogi Bear. You know, same, things like that, kind of... that Yogi Bear period and the quick draw McGraw yeah. and all that stuff. And then in the afternoons, we had the very beginnings of anime in Gigantor. Oh. oh. Yeah. Wow. I mean, that was Gigantor was afternoons. That there was a black and white giant. <laughs> you know, that sounds awesome. <laughs> I think it was black and white. I, I don't think it was in color. I think uh, I don't think I've seen any color version of it. But uh, I know that it was black and white on our TV. Dad, <laughs> Dad, I want a color TV. Oh. No, they look terrible. We didn't get a color TV until like oh mid eighties probably. I think that we had a really bad color TV for a couple of years before I got out of the house. We had a little black and white. Yeah, we had a 19 inch. Uh, ours oh. was uh, ours. Our black and white was like nine or ten inches. So it was pretty it was small. Actually, it was actually stolen twice and returned. Oh twice. my god! We uh, the cops <laughs> actually got it back to us twice, and I kept thinking when it was gone, right? Yeah. The first time it was gone, you know, somebody stole the TV. And I was like, woo hoo hoo We wow. can finally get a real TV because literally this is one of the ones that was on the stand. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, not the built-in. I know what you mean. It was, it was <laughs> on this like really spindly aluminum That's stand, what we had. right? Yeah. Literally, yeah. nineteen-inch RCA, you know, rabbit ears, the mm. whole bit, and um, and the first time it was like gone for like three days. You know, and the second time they stole it, we really thought it was gone, right? And and we got it back like two weeks later before we had gone down. And and you have to think to yourself, <laughs> two weeks. We lasted two, two weeks. weeks without a TV. Yeah. You know. That's awesome. Yeah. It, well, the TV I grew up with in the 70s watching Solid Gold and playing Atari on it. Right. I took to college with me. In the 90s. <laughs> That's how long that thing lasted. Well, you know, we, we got a Sony... We got a uh, Samsung um, monitor. A studio monitor. Brought, bought one brand new in the mid, middle 80s. And uh, paid a fortune for it. And uh, because I said, oh, I, I want a monitor. I, want, I need to see good TV. The thing lasted... All the way up until like 2005. <laughs> wow. Like we had a TV for 20 yeah, years. Yeah. And literally from about 1985 until 2005. And by the time 2005 came around, I think that we actually replaced it with our first flat screen. Yeah. Right. Well, I think our first color TV was 80. I want to say it's mid, mid maybe 86, 87, maybe. Because it was right before we got a VCR. And that was 89 well, or something. Yeah, well, yeah, it was 89, <laughs> but, yeah. The but uh, my parents had in. that until uh, probably 2000. So, I, I mean. remember we got, a, we got a VCR because, I mean, it was a kind of a work. It started to be a work thing. But yeah. it, probably in 86 or 87. Um, was it a Betamax or was it a... <laughs> no, no, it was a VHS. A VHS. Uh, the Betamaxes were really expensive. And the tapes that came out were split. Oh. I mean, half of them were uh, half of them yeah. were the one format, and half of them were the other. But the thing is, is pay the the original rental places didn't have like back catalogs or things like that. They had a few films that had come out, uh, probably. Uh, boo, that was know, around like the time twenty films. Laser discs came out I, too. A little bit later. <laughs> a little bit later. A little bit later. I had a, a friend bit in nineties. More. I had 90s. a friend I worked with at the TV station in uh, Tennessee. He, he used to. He had his own laser disc player and he collected those things. <laughs> I was like, "You're crazy!" But then I was You're watching crazy. like you know Can Cannonball Run with him and stuff, and right. like, I was like, "Oh, this is actually pretty cool." Because <laughs> he was taking this big disc out, like. <laughs> well, it's always the thing is they reminded you of albums. I mean, that yeah. was like. Yeah, that's basically how they treated it. It was a, yeah, it was just it's like you know blow it off. <laughs> Right. You know, like flip it over, do the two hand thing. Like a bad scientist. Make sure that yeah. you didn't get the edges. You know, you know, you're on the edges and never on the wow face of it. So I interrupted you about my my. I was crying because I missed Saturday. I don't even know what point you were trying to make a point, and I totally interrupted you. Right. Yeah. But that was a fun little trail we went. That on. was. That was. You, you know what that was? That was a rabbit trail. That was a rabbit trail. That this was an intentional promo. That was a rabbit the hole. The rabbit hole. That's right. It was a promo for my <laughs> that show. That was a natural promo. That's what right. That was. It was. We just slid right into that. Yes. Because I have a new podcast called Rabbit Hole. Right. Yeah. Right. I haven't heard it yet. 
I've only seen the logo, which is amazing. You haven't heard you haven't heard it yet? It is a great logo. The logo on your it? I saw it yeah. on your Facebook page. It was yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah. so that's that. And I called it, didn't I? I said, I can see you wearing a top hat. Then you did. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I was remember I was like I was like, well, you should see because you, you know what you said was that's exactly the brief that we gave. <laughs> And that's the guy that did all the, uh, uh, his, uh, what is Calvin? He did the, uh, all the work for, uh, Vengeance. Oh, yeah. And, uh, he just jumped in there and, uh, and, wow. and did it. And, and he did such a good job. Yeah. And we're doing good. That is good. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So now we're speaking of, speaking of voice Vengeance. actors. Voice. Did you know the original Child's Play? Who it's was rumored it? that they were going to use John Lithgow, which would have been amazing. That would have been really good. Well, yeah, I think it would have been. Because okay. he has kind of more range than even Mark Hamill, right. who did a great job. He I did thought. a great job. He really yeah. did. Yeah. He sounded really creepy. And I, it was that kind of. So there are two different. Actually, that's what I kind of like about these two movies is that they're totally different because they are the new one is just a creepy AI type of thing. Yeah. The old one was just a really angry, like almost like a Jack Nicholson sounding. Right criminal which i felt that more even though it was bad acting i, I the original had bad acting but it's just so much more fun voice? to watch who did the original voice? oh god i can't remember i i uh didn't it was brad dorif did there was something that was halfway charming about the first one it seemed to have a soul to it and there's definitely a jack nicholson uh reference like the Shining. Oh yeah. Where he just oh yeah. The door. Oh yeah. The, On the original. Yeah. yeah. The references everywhere. Um, <laughs> but yeah, he did a great job. I thought. I thought. I, mean, I, I, I thought that uh, everybody did a great job in the original. Yeah. This one. First of all, the the doll. I don't agree with. Didn't look right. This had better acting though. Better acting. Well, yeah. I mean, it did. No, yeah, it, it did. It, Overall, it, it was yeah, more believable. It did, but a the script got completely. And Aubrey lost. Plaza is, you know, I like her, so yeah, she could well, do anything. Yeah, and I'll be happy with her. That's right. She could, she could just read from a phone book, which which would be times, really funny. It just actually, seemed like she was yeah. reading from a phone book. <laughs> <laughs> there, were, there were a couple of things that seemed a little out of character that she was doing. You know, for uh, I, I, I just don't see her ever being a victim yeah. kind of thing and having uh, a boyfriend like that. But that's... Well, there was one moment where I really liked her. She was ripping something, and I was like, yes, that was awesome. <laughs> but anyway. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> but, Let me pull myself together here. Yeah, please. Um, please do that. So please, I, put that I can't back on. If this is my second or third favorite <gasps> Chucky-related movie. Oh, yeah? Because uh, I liked Bride of Chucky a lot because it had Jennifer Tilly. Everybody likes Bride of Chucky. I think that's Chucky, probably my I've second never favorite seen one. it. Yeah, so this is third for me. Yeah, but uh, I tried to watch Cult of Chucky one time because I was going to suggest, hey, we should do yeah, it on our we podcast. Do a whole bunch of them. And then I watched it. And it was like the worst movie ever, <laughs> and I couldn't even. Get, I, could, I made it halfway to say. They this. did the thing. The thing. The thing about uh, the first Chucky, the 1988 Chucky, um, it had a great soul to it. I mean, yeah. I mean, it it looked right. The the story was, and it was unique. Yeah, it was unique in the, yeah. and it was so much better done than it deserved to be for the time. Wasn't it before Puppet Master or? Yeah, it was before any of this stuff. Yeah, right, so. right. Uh, it was. It, it, I thought the story was good and clean. Um, on the most recent one, that was more of an action movie, though. If you think about it, like it's it was a slasher movie, but it was kind of well. You know what? That's action driven, and, and, and that's the funny thing is. Yeah, there were a lot of great explosions in the first yeah. one. It was a battle film. It, yeah. it was it was a battle for territory. And there was the Terminator reference where he came out of the fire. Right, ah. right. No, abs <laughs> absolutely. The, there was a there was a battle going on in the first one. There's a battle coming on for the territory, and the kid was the territory. And it was building the up to kid, a climax. Right, and the kid yeah. was much better. Oh yeah, yeah. He was much. The kid better. was much better. And this kid was too old. I thought. Yeah, he was too yeah. old. I, I I didn't understand. It. It, you, you know what was funny is he was too old, and she, <laughs> Aubrey Plaza, did look like the, the sister, sister and not the mother. You know. <laughs> well, she they had like, a line where she yeah, said, I know, "She I know, kind of explained it." Oh, but. we yeah, we're gonna fix this with ADR. <laughs> She'll turn around and go, "Oh, well, yeah, but uh, yeah, I was uh, 16 years old when I had him." <laughs> 
So, oh, anyway, there was actually I, I get into the trivia thing whenever I watch Amazon now. Yeah, of course. Of course. So there was one that really intrigued me, and I think this would have been a totally different film because that they originally the original plot that they thought of was to have a lifelike good guy doll with blood and latex skin. And if you broke the latex skin, you the can go buy blood? an official ba- good guy band-aid or oh, blood okay, guy band-aid. Yeah, gotcha. So they yeah. would actually bleed and... Yeah. Ew. But that yeah. sounds amazing. It's it does. Like, it would have been totally creepier and yeah, different well, movie. Yeah, but... So the recent one... Yes, the recent one. The recent one. I... I thought it was like... Uh, it's funny. It had some horror, some classic horror horror film sequences that were were great yeah. for a horror. F- I mean, it was the better slasher. Yeah, yeah. By a long shot, it was the better slasher. Well, this was a uh, like somebody studied horror movies. Yeah, and threw in a bunch of references too while they were at it. <laughs> right. And I kind of felt like you know some of my films. Yeah, were were being. Well, there was definitely it was Leatherface too that we saw. Yeah, so. I mean- <laughs> Was definitely that. I don't think that ruins anything, but yeah, no. But there was some definitely references, and I mean, just like the first one, there were references. Like this one had an ET reference, which blew kind of blew, yeah, confused that's me. Pretty, <laughs> that was pretty, pretty interesting. I didn't understand yeah. that. Yeah, it was like it was kind of like a left turn for a while, and I don't know. Just every time that the thing happened, yeah, I was like, See, why? I, I, why? I, I liked. I liked. I like both of the cops, the cops in 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 the first one and in this one. Um, the cop's mother was a great character. You have to admit. Oh yeah, no, the cop and his mother were both great. I thought. Oh, that's yeah, it was great. You're right. The acting was more consistent in in the most recent one. I did like the kid better uh, in the old one. Um, and I won't ruin it, but there's one character that. So there's all this technology. It's kind of like Amazon is everywhere. Right. It's kind of like yeah. Alexa or yeah. whatever. Yeah. But like one character finally embraces the technology and, it, you know, yeah. it doesn't really go well. Yeah. I'll just put it that not way. Not well at all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to ruin it. So I won't say who or what yeah, happened. Exactly. Um, <laughs> let's just say that Jack Black should have been in this one. Oh, Jack Black should have been the janitor. Been, he should have been the janitor. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes I look at a film and I think, well... Who were they really trying to get a hold of? You know, who did they want the most? Yeah, but Mark Hamill was a stroke of genius. Whoever came up with that idea, yeah, yeah, that was great. Because yeah. I would never really, I don't know. I, when I heard that he was going to be the voice, I was like, well, that's it. that makes sense. But I would never have thought of him. Yeah, yeah, there, it, me too. Yeah, I, no, I agree like with who's you. a great voice? Uh, I would have thought hey, of look, Patton Oswalt well, you know or what? something. We need to call. <laughs> Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill. <laughs> and going, eh, eh, what, really? really? Mark Hamill, you say? Or maybe really? he's like, somebody, a friend of Mark was like, oh, Mark's depressed wow. because he shot the last uh, Star Wars movie. That's right. You know, you know they pre- killed him. You know, they yeah. killed him. They so killed him. Give him some work. He's dead. He's dead. Luke's <laughs> <laughs> <Oops>, dead. <laughs> oh, there was a Han Solo reference, too. Yeah. Like, but yeah. Anyway. That's, that's right. So, um, yeah, I, uh, uh the original, I, I, I would just wanted to point out that the guy that did the original is not a stellar director by any means, I don't think, but he did direct Fright Night and, and, uh, that I really, really? like Fright Night. Oh yeah. Fright and then Night's he also good. later on did Thinner, which I kind of like, but it's a, as a Stephen King movie, I like Thinner. Really? It's fairly decent. Really? But it's only because, mainly because thought, of the actor, it's like the main the, actor. The, and, the book I yeah, yeah I, the I book. Was, uh, uh, I never read the book, but I imagine it was probably better. Yeah, yeah, the book was pretty good. Yeah, I, I, I didn't really enjoy the film. So, but, so the um, new one, I, I actually enjoyed it. I think it was pretty good. Yeah, I wouldn't say. It I'm blew gonna, me away. I'm gonna say a little bit uh, that I, I just super appreciated the first one. Well, I just watched the first one what two days ago. Yeah, <laughs> I watched never, this one, but you've seen it. Before, I've seen right? it before, but it's been like years. I, I've never seen anything that I've was watched, a probably watched the first one probably about I don't know maybe twelve times over the last twenty years or so. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I was kind of surprised when I noticed that uh, that the new one was puppeting was all puppeting. Well, um, there were some scenes I think. Well, no, no, there were a digi- couple scenes that were yeah. animated and a couple scenes that were... Uh, there was one that really distracted me because it was all CGI. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well. But 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 I, but I have to say at the same time, uh, 
yeah, they they did a lot of. Uh, I'm sure the puppeters were in the rooms and that they yeah. were filming them, and they just took them out because that's yeah. They, oh yeah, they had a well, lot they of the green oh, outfits. Uh, yeah, a lot of yeah, the guys with the green outfits. Yeah, a lot of compositing. Yeah, and you get rid of those, you know, and it creates a very like, like clean look. Clean look. Yep. Yeah, it really does. Clean everything out. I just I just didn't like the design of him. And so, I didn't like his facial facial features as much as I did. I thought the they original. made him look. They tried to make him too look look too creepy because I think for me. The first doll looked a little sweet, like innocent. Yeah, and then and that's cre- more creepy yeah. to have an oh, innocent absolutely. looking doll coming that's, after that's you. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying they missed the design yeah. element of it. They really did. They just they miss it, miss it. That's right. It's over here, should have been over there. I did there. like some of the. Oh yeah, the, yeah. Oh well, that's a that's a that's a. The whole thing. That's dude. a it's whole a universe spoiler. is interesting. Spoiler. Oh, Spoiler it? alert. Well, so I'll just go, I did like the bleep, 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 bleep. <laughs> and you'll say spoiler alert. See? It's magic. <laughs> I know this is going to come uh, as a huge shock, but they, they just left a little bit of an opening for a uh, sequel. There's an opening for any movie. Any horror movie any has, horror an opening, has an opening. Even if there isn't an sequel. opening. Even if, the, yeah, but, but they left this one <laughs> wide. Like the door... Yeah, dude, there was a breeze, and somebody was just getting up to like stop the breeze, and it got through. So that that it, it's there. I, I kept thinking to myself that uh, the guy in the first uh, see the not only did they uh, want Jack Black in this one, but they wanted Tim Robbins in the first one. Oh, <laughs> Tim Robbins. Well, uh, I and did want to love- point out the opening scene in in the nineteen eighty eight right child explosion. Play, he took his glove off twice. Yeah, you know, actually, I actually noticed that. But the explosion, yes. The explosion sequence and the explosion of the brick building, yes, which was yes. a miniature. That was a miniature. Yeah. And it was really well done. That was pretty I mean, cool. I was like, wow, you know, that's, uh, yeah. It's a, so you're right. That was more of a. Um, but that kid was totally awesome. Like, yeah, and yeah. the and the bite. Yeah. Remember the bite on the kid's yeah. arm? Ugh, that's creepy. Do you think the mom was. Uh, more naive in the first one, for sure. The fight in the car on the first one. Yeah, that was just, you know. And, <laughs> we can and, spoil the first and, one. Well, we can, totally, we can. Um, I was but say, don't you think the mom Nothing was... says Satan like bad art. And the, which was, <laughs> that's which right. Was, <laughs> oh, that art was, yeah, that was amazing. Yeah, you, but, but why is it always bad art, you know? You don't walk in and, and go, wow, you know. <laughs> well, at least he drew you know his what? penis. The thing big, is, is this: right? is having a really ugly sofa doesn't say some doesn't say Satan. It just says, yeah, you know, lack of taste. But bad art that yeah. says Satan. Well, right? it was uh, he was drawing himself, and he drew himself By the, with a it, really big penis. Right. I mean, and, why not? And the voodoo. Well, <laughs> yeah. And then the voodoo guy. The voodoo guy shows it was up, a little right, strange. Right. Yeah. Uh, the voodoo guy was interesting. He was very interesting. It was a good character. I, I see the mom. I, I like the mom in the first one because she was kind of naive and stupid, but it kind of p- played off well with I the kid. The th- oh, by the way, the like, kid. Do you think the new mom in the new one was a little too smart? Too, maybe? I don't know, because the first one was really naive and like. Right. Well, you, you know what? Yeah. But uh, she had a friend that was kind of the same way. But but at least <laughs> but it, she caught on to it before. Yeah. Before this mother did. Not that. Not that. That happens or anything. I don't know. We're not talking about the new one as much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, there was one thing that I wanted to note that I did notice on the first one is when the head was completely burnt. Um, it looked like somebody <laughs> all over it. <laughs> uh, by you the way, the shoe colors Kevin, change too sometimes. It, I, I've noticed, well, I've noticed yeah, that before, but anyway. Kevin, Kevin uh, Yeager and Howard Berger were both on the original. Oh, yeah, K and B. Howard yeah. Berger is yeah. from K and B, and Kevin Yeager was uh, the guy who redesigned uh, Freddie's make uh, or Freddie's makeup for the third. And oh, yeah, very very famous and a good friend. Um. Oh, by the way, I wanted to mention this in the in the uh, in the first one that the uh, <laughs> that's the Bradbury Building where the elevator was in. Oh, really? Look at think of that elevator the from the building. first okay. one. Okay, yeah. because the Bradbury Building is now completely cleaned up, and they've taken all these uh, like they had built in 
like apartments and, and built the walls in to where it actually gotten down really close to the elevator, right? Um, and that's the period that they were filming right there, hmm. right? But but did you didn't notice that when they hit the bottom floor, there was the Bradbury written on the elevator doors as the doors open. Huh. So that's and and where's the most famous that you've seen the Bradbury building? Oh, you're talking about yeah. Blade Runner. Blade Runner. Yeah, right. That's okay. the that's the Bradbury building. It was about the same time. Yeah, it was I mean, around. Rough, the, it was yeah. around the same time. And, and the thing is, is everybody filmed that elevator because the because the building was a wreck. I know I've seen that in other movies too. The, yeah, right. The building. Yeah. The building. I just was, can't remember. I know I've seen it in other movies. The building was a wreck, and it was mostly half empty. Right, and um, the first one was also shot at the an old Chinese restaurant. That's where the toy store was. Right. <laughs> now I, I wanted to point something out. <laughs> And that like was the it. actual address, the physical address that they shouted out. Yeah, that was the real address in Chicago. That with the- <laughs> that when the toy store blew up at the very beginning. Yeah, I I wanted to bring up something that what a huge mess that was, right outside. Because <laughs> yeah. I mean, they 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 dressed up an entire store as as a toy s- store. Right. Yeah. And then they blew it up, right and. If you notice that one wide shot, those windows all going mm-hmm. out, that was all, you know, that was all full scale. Yeah. Later on, they had a, an explosion that was like a smaller scale, but that was full scale. That was on the street. That was, that was, you know, mm-hmm. a, a big explosion. And I think it was actually in Chicago. Yeah. yeah. And, and I wanted to, I wanted to just point out that, um, I've done a lot of things and effects, right? And one thing that we do in effects is we do a lot of explosions and we do a lot of like crashes and stuff like that. But one time I was working on um, chairman of the board. I think it was chairman of the board. Um, And we had uh, a scene where uh, we dropped the sign of a factory uh, off of a crane or, or yeah, it's like the, Crane was lifting the new mm-hmm. factory sign into place, and just as it gets over the uh, manager, the owner's car, um, the sign is re- accidentally released mm. and <laughs> lands right on his car. Right, and his car, and it just flattens his car. Of course, we had all kinds of trips and wires and and little explosions and little little kind of, so that when it landed on the car, it flattened it. I mean, just like we sucked it into the ground as the as it <laughs> uh, and all the tires fell off. They bring you know, like we did the full nine yards, right? <laughs> did you have like cables under the? Oh yeah, we had. It was like crap was everywhere. <laughs> it, it, it was so it was so rigged. You wouldn't. I I mean, it literally, it took like four days to rig that car by itself, wow. right? Yeah. Just just to hit it with the sign, right? Now, now we were busting balls. There was only two of us that were doing uh, a, a chairman of the board. And as we're going down the road, it's just like one huge rig after another and all these little tiny rigs because the prop guy was kind of a bozo. And, and he, he would complain. <laughs> the prop, prop guy had this 40-foot truck, right? And he would show up and he'd have all the props and everything. But um, in the script, because it was like carrot top right you know the props all had to do something and the guy had no idea how to do any of the things that he you know <laughs> that that he I, I mean you know one of them was like uh it took all of his hair was there was a fan right and it would had all have all of his hair and then he could fold the fan up and the and put it down and he would still have his hair Right, but okay. the fan had the hair, and he had his hair, right? Yeah. You know, so yeah. <laughs> um, it just but but create like like uh, like uh, smoking, making a device that smokes a cigarette in five seconds. <laughs> By the way, you know what you, you do just is blow you, air into it, right? Well, wait, you have to like you have to make a, a the filter tip. What you do is you make the filter tip, right? And you put a a, a hose into the filter tip that goes out along the arm and goes back out into a vacuum cleaner. You make it as, as big as you can, mm. you know, so that can really 
make a hell of a vacuum and suck the cigarette down because to get it all down in like five seconds is like a job but then you have to make sure and trust me on this if you do that there is one thing you do not do you do not open you do not open the vacuum cleaner right it's a shop vac you don't open it we opened it on the set I got it to this day. I have no idea why. And literally people were retching in the room. <laughs> so we did it. I was like, oh my God. Ah, everything we to get it back on and, and get rid of it and just leave it in the trash. You know, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. You know, I mean, we, we smoked down like uh, maybe like 20 cigarettes <laughs> and, and, and just, whew, it was unbelievable. Anyway, so. Back to the sign. We drop the <laughs> sign on the car. Big rig. We get all, all the great cameras and stuff. And we get in our truck and we have to work all night because we had to go rig steam in this huge factory, right? So we rig all night. And in the morning, we're there. We're doing the steam and stuff. And this PA comes up to me. And he's like, dude, I can't believe you did that. I did what? You know, it was so uncool. He says, I was there for two hours. Two hours doing what? What are you talking about? It says, well, we had to clean up after you. We had to clean up. The car. We had to clean up the car. I was like, really? Okay. Here's the thing. You see, it it's a matter of they pay us more than you, <laughs> and so here's right. the way here's the way this is going to work until you actually have a real job other than being a PA, right? <laughs> right. We make the magic, and then you clean it up. You clean up the mess. <laughs> you clean up the mess. <laughs> nice. You should have seen that guy's face as he was walking. In two away. hours, while you yeah, were up all night, two, we were up all night. Yeah, we we were carrying these hoses, you, you know, through this enormous uh, munitions factory. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it, it, anyway, I could go on about this. I could go on about this forever, but I'm not. I don't so, know why I pictured like a uh, surfer guy from like. I, I just Ted's excellent adventure. I just pictured them back in 1988. All these PAs out there sweeping glass or going, Encino Man, uh, yeah, dude, uh, dude. <laughs> yeah, well, he was totally surfer. It was like, dude, <laughs> Polly Shore, dude. Yeah, and it was what was really funny about it was that you know he was like it was uh, whatever he was talking about was apparent to him, and we were like, I, uh, I, what do you mean? You've already moved on. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we were <laughs> we were hours and hours already. <laughs> So anyway, I just so uh, what did you think of the first one, and what did you think of the second one? The first one, I give a pretty high rating. I mean, I would give like uh, see, I can't give it a four. It's like a three point eight. Oh, that's, no, that's exactly not bad. what I was gonna do. Three point yeah, eight. Three point eight for the first one. And the now, second one. The second yeah. one. Second one. I'm gonna give the second one. I'm sorry, Aubrey Praza. Only brings it up from a 2.5 for me. So I'm going to give three points for Audrey, Aubrey Plaza, and it's going to get a 2.8. Say I would give it a just... Uh, yeah, what would I give? What would I give Brian and Chucky? That's what I'm thinking about. <laughs> so 3.8, I'd probably give Brian and Chucky 3.6 maybe. Right. And this has got to be a little This has got to be like a 3.4. I'll yeah, just drop down two points. No, for it's one. not that good. Sorry, but it would be a. Th- see, you're just, wrong. It see, would just be a. Th- th- you're just wrong. Would be, would just be a three point, but see, Aubrey Plaza brings up a little notch, and then Mark Hamill brings up another little notch, and then the acting compared to the first one, a little bit, a little bit better. It's a little half a notch, maybe, and then the screenplay. Yeah, who cares about the screenplay? Yeah, two but, point. I, I'm, I'm gonna give it a two point eight. I think that I think that the film got lost on the way, and I like. I they could Plaza lose a couple things, it. like. Could, but yeah, that's they could lose a lot. So maybe I'm anyway. giving. Maybe I'm being too generous, but that's okay. I think you are being too generous. Yeah. Uh, so in a month and a half or so, Vengeance is gonna come out. You, uh, I know. You excited? I heard that they. Well, I I talked to Dustin, and they they have a complete assemblage. Well, I need to see this in a theater, like. ASAP. Well, well, then we're going to have to pro- probably, yeah, we're going to have to do it quick. And it has to be convenient to me. I hope that <laughs> I hope that, I, that I'm uh, like on a I'm weekend. still here. I want to be here when it comes out, so they better get going. Yeah. 
Like on a weekend. Because then I could go to Nashville, so. Yeah. Maybe show it somewhere. That's what they're going to do. Yeah. Honestly, they're going to do that. Because that would be awesome. Well, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. But not if it's just a bunch of the crew. I mean, I want to see some real fans in there watching it. I'm sure that they'll be able to arrange In fact, that. I want to have a seat facing super fans. Of facing the fans. So you I can watch see, them. You want to see... You want to see other people seeing the movie. That's yes, that's yeah. what you want to see, right? But they have to be wearing glasses so I can see the reflection of the movie in their glasses. <laughs> like I really like that guy. There's a on you. I think it was on Facebook. I don't remember who posted it, but it was a a guy watching the trailer and he was flipping out. Yeah, that was and that, that was, was amazing. All, that was amazing to watch. That was really cool. I love that. Yeah, yeah I think I added it to one of our playlists on YouTube <laughs> just because I I thought it was awesome. It was pretty cool. And then like, he, I liked it. And he was just like. I don't know what to do now. <laughs> yeah. It was like, yeah. It's like, wow, where do I go? <laughs> wow, man. <laughs> you just left. You just <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, let's see. I have something. Um, oh, he's pulling out papers. Okay. Am I being served? Let's see. This is the end, friend. This is the final words of Chucky in the first film. Thanks for joining us on the Dream Warrior Review Podcast. Don't forget to tell your friends about us, follow us, and, of course, like us. We can be found on Podbean, which is an amazing app, YouTube, Stitcher, Alexa on any pod, iTunes, Google Play. We're on Twitter as well, at DW Review, and, of course, Facebook. You can find us there. You can also email us at dreamwarriorreview at gmail.com. <laughs>